actually seeing our local talent triumph this year. Um, the local music, our Australian music is amazing, so um, it's really nice to to have it spreading. Uh, Flume and Tame Impala for Australia, I think it's really innovative and it's not just a national thing, it's now an international thing and, and I love that. The Aria's pre-party was Yeah, the cool. Aria pre-party was cool. Yeah. yeah. I've had quite a few, I think, you know, just being able to be on tour and playing lots of shows, I've had such a great time, you know. I just love getting, being in front of a live crowd. I loved uh, Flume locally. I think uh, being a Kiwi, it was a bit of a joy to see Lord taking on the world, unique sound. I think that was uh, really awesome. She'd probably be my highlight of the year, i got to say. My musical highlights would probably be uh, Matt Corby's resolution and his tour. I went to see that. And yeah, just seeing the little artists get bigger and bigger. Seeing Yanis, the lead singer of Falls, jump off the first floor balcony at the Palace Theatre in Melbourne was a bit of a highlight for me and was quite incredible. I mean, there's been so many amazing songs. It's so hard to remember. But I, I really love Guy Sebastian in his album at the moment. I reckon making a record with a good mate uh, has been something I've never thought we'd ever get to do. And um, that's been a big highlight for me. The tour in particular has been a highlight. And the fact that it went gold within uh, six weeks means that people still buy records. Thank you, country music fans. We love you. Group Love Tour in America was really, really fun. Um, they were really fun to be with and it was just good seeing the rest of America on tour. Horror Show released an absolute banging album. My friends Bliss and Esso had a massively, massive, massive album. It's all hip-hop really. Seeing so many huge uh, records break around the world, it's just beautiful, you know, so it's terrific. 